Hi, my name is Shelby and I'm an engineer at NXP and today I'm going to show you how to get started with Embedded Systems Academies, CanOpenStax, and MCU Expresso. So as you might already know, we've recently partnered with Embedded Systems Academy to offer a version of their Micro Can Open Plus stack as an enabling software technology directly within the MCU Expresso SDK so that um, you're empowered to move rapidly and smoothly from initial prototyping to full product development. So before we get started, you're going to want to make sure that you've downloaded and installed one of the IDEs that's supported by the MCU Expresso SDK. So either the MCU Expresso IDE, IAR, or Kyle MDK. Once you've done that, then we can download the MCU Expresso SDK. So you're going to want to go to the online MCU Expresso SDK builder and hit select development board. And once you've logged into your NXP account, we can select the development board that we're going to be using. I will be using the i.mx RT1060 evaluation kit for this video. And once you've selected your board, we just hit build MCU Expresso SDK. And on the next page is where we specify the settings for our SDK download. So you can choose which version of the SDK you would like to download. You can select the tool chain that you're going to be using and then your host operating system. And down in this table is where we choose which optional software components we would like to include in our software development kit. So we want to click the check box beside can opened and that will automatically include it in our SDK download. If we scroll down, we can give our archive a name and then we just hit download SDK. Once we accept the user agreement, then our auto download should start automatically. So now that we've downloaded our SDK, we need to install it in the MCU Expresso IDE and we can do that by simply dragging and dropping it into the installed SDKs tab hit OK, and it will automatically install for you. Uh, so now we have access to all the example projects that come ready to use inside of the SDK. Uh, so if we want to import a can open example, then we go down to the quick start panel, click import SDK examples, and we want to select the hardware platform that we're going to be using, then hit next, and you can see uh, the can open examples along with a variety of other uh, demo applications, driver examples, um, and software component examples. Uh, so we want to use one of the can open examples. Um, as you can see, there are two examples included in the SDK, uh, one manager and one slave. Uh, so these are designed to be used together to implement a simple can open control example. Um, so you will need two boards. These don't have to be the same, but both need to be supported by the can open libraries. Uh, so one board is programmed with the um, micro can open manager example and the other is programmed by the micro can open slave example um, and these will communicate with each other. Um, so I am going to start with the micro can open manager example, uh, select that and click finish. And this will automatically um, pull all of the files that are necessary for this example from the SDK and put them into a project for us. Uh, so now that our project has been imported, you can see that there are several uh, micro can open folders. There's the MCO folder, uh, which includes all the header files for micro can open implementation. There's the MCO config file. This includes the electronic data sheets, which store the object dictionary configuration of the can open device. Um, the object dictionary contents 
are fully configurable using EMSA's CanOpen Architect Standard EDS Editor. Um, and this gives you the freedom to go beyond this simple example and cre create your own CanOpen applications. Um, then we have the CanOpen libraries, which are based on EMSA's Micro CanOpen Plus implementation, and then our source folder. And then down here um, in the doc folder, there is actually a um, user manual um, for the EMSA CanOpen libraries for M NXP SDKs. Uh, so this is really helpful. It includes information on how to run the um, example application um, and then other information about the libraries. Um, so now that we have our example, um, we can go ahead and build it and flash it to the board. Uh, so we want to connect our board at this point and we can build our application. And once it's built, then we can come back to the quick start panel and hit debug to flash the example to our target hardware. So now that the example has been programmed to our board, we can go up to this toolbar here and just hit end all debug sessions. And now we can move on and program our second board, uh, this time with the slave example. So we want to go back to the quick start panel, click import SDK examples, select our board and hit next. And this time, we want to import the MCO slave example. So hit finish, and that will import for us. And as you can see, there's a similar folder structure. There's that uh, documentation included in this example as well uh, to help you get started. So now we want to uh, plug our other board in, build this example. And once that's finished building, we can hit debug to program it to the board. So again, you can use the default debug probe settings, just hit OK. And now that the slave example has been programmed to our second board, uh, we can end that debug session. And now we're ready to run the CanOpen example project. So to run the example, you'll first need to make sure that you have a proper cabling between the CAN connectors on your boards, and then connect them uh, both and open up a terminal for each one. Once you've done that, you can press the reset buttons at the same time, and you should see an output in the terminals. Um, you also have the option to use a CAN uh, or a CAN open monitoring and, an ana and analysis tool uh, also connected to your network. Uh, this will allow you to monitor the CAN open traffic exchanged by the two nodes and transmit further interactive test messages, uh, but this isn't required for running the example. So that is how you get started with the CAN open examples from Embedded Systems Academy inside the MCU Expresso SDK. To learn more about MCU Expresso software and tools, you can either visit the overview page on nxp.com or one of the community sites. And if you'd like to go beyond the examples that were included in the MCU Expresso SDK, you can download EMSA's Can Open Architect Standard EDS Editor and start developing your very own Can Open networks today.